I mean, the, those and all the records are in saving their system now. So this, this is what it is. They might know. Thanks to Chris Martin. They got turned up. Hey, Pickle, the veggie, the food. It's a cucumber. Where's the cucumber? So a pickle is a fruit. Thank you. A pickle is a cucumber. Just soak the vinegar. Pickle. Welcome to the crib, y'all. Right. I gotta show y'all my Evo Shield Guard that I just bought. Oh, shoot. Where are you? Close that door. My elbow was supposed to be coming in soon. It's just like this. There we go. Perfect fit, too. See y'all, we can be flee a cop in next year. Most deaf, best believe. I told Jay to get the girl number at the thing. He was too scared to. Nobody was scared. I didn't want that. Nah, he was scared. And y'all know. I already gave him my PLC dollars. What else do they want from me? Girl, you 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 tipped them four dollars. Alright. <laughs> ten percent, bro. I You're gave foul. more than ten percent. You're foul. Not she was like, give us an extra wig and everything you give her Nah, before. nah, they, nah, she's talking about she did that. She was just trying to play a joke at all. Bro, she was feeling you, boy. Nah, bro, I ain't want that. Show you Resident Evil, bro. Resident Evil, bro. You gotta watch that, John. No cap. He's filming. Put your face camera away. Jordan, show your beautiful, lovely African violet face. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful she is. It's like a bed of roses. Oh, that's my beloved wife, girlfriend, Jordan Makai Boger, or Jordan Makai Thompson, soon to be. She's gonna be with me along my major league baseball journey when I get drafted. If y'all ain't, bro, I ain't gonna lie, if y'all ain't watching Resident Evil, bro, y'all know where it's at, because I gotta, oh yeah, show them the anklet. Bro. I'm telling you right now, everyone fool, y'all gotta like anklets, bro. Anklets is a move. Anklets and no socks or anklets and ankle socks, bro. I literally told you, this is awful. What? And don't cap either. It's a cap! He that's some true cap. Nice. Who was working? Who was working? Me! This was before you. Before you. I was all, bro. No, but it was different though, because I was always into wearing anklets. So why have I don't know, but now I'm rocking. I'm locked. I'm 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 locked in with them jumps though. I'm wearing anklets from now on. Though. Like I'm actually locked in. The only baseball players wearing anklets for real. Football players and basketball players are not. Anklets. Mostly baseball players, and we'll be rocking Birkenstocks. That's so many windows, especially with the summer. That's perfect. I play some crank for you. Oh, 
are y'all? So we at uh, Tracy, Uncle Mike house. We got to pull up on my cousin Josh. See what he on? Keenan pulling up too. We gotta see what they on. Where's your, where's your, where's your, your door, your, your ring, your doorbell's about a voice smell us? It's a dog, sir. Lord have mercy. Congratulations. Thank you. Y'all just all, all up now. Trying to. <laughs> Look at these high schoolers that go to the gym now. It's really freakish. Okay. What? Go outside and play. Why do y'all go to the gym? It's a bit much. He ain't got dog. Where you been on the vacation somewhere? <laughs> It's working out. Really? I'm saying. They really I got be prepared. working out like you got I mean, brown. I got to prepare. I got to prepare for college. Right, you got to do that. Yeah, because you know business. Like, yeah, you play baseball a lot. I got to prepare for that. You have to, you do summer training with the school? Or you just I don't know. I'm just training right now for myself. And a couple, like, guys. I know. Wow, she usually looks really pretty. She looks bad. Is that Sierra? Yeah. Sierra bad. She is, but she don't look good right there. She doesn't look great. She's looked way better. Like she looks way better than like Sierra is bad, but she looked crazy right now. Her makeup is bad. The wig is bad. The outfit is bad. Yeah, what is on her body? It's all bad. I'm disappointed. And it looks cheap too. She's still winning. I ain't mad at her. This was a Kennedy Davis in between. Oh, you got a you got a Yeah, I'm just Oh, sure. Um, you Is that is that legal? I go home back to September. I'm buying. They ain't September? Yeah. To scare? Yeah. You were like 25 and he, wait, no, you were 25 and he wouldn't. I would not do that. You lying. That's weird. Lord, come yeah. on, come on, bro. I've never dated anybody younger than that. Are you dead serious? Dead serious. Watch Love of Her Life is going to be like three years younger. Watch. That's a peak she's, she's not dating anybody. That's how it's going to be. So. She just makes you honey. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably going to be old lady like this. Tell Lauren, tell Lauren, she has to. I'm telling you, you're gonna yeah, get yeah. married to a man in like three or four years and you watch. How old are you? I don't know how old are you now? Don't worry about 35. You're 30? I'm not 30. Oh, I was about to say, you're really old. Fine, you go find a man in, in, in Florida. You no, know 30 is basically. Ooh, I would never find a so man. I'm just saying, I'm just so saying. She won't exactly like, like Florida, somebody that's right, 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 right. like. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying, watch. You're gonna find a 22-year-old man in Florida. Then, then peep the criteria that makes it through. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so with Christopher Newport, it felt like home. On my visit, it really felt like home. But the, at the time, I felt like that was the best option for me, wholeheartedly. But when Coppa State came, Coppa State came along, me and Coach Z were texting for a good little minute. And everything seemed genuine, everything was perfect. But, you know, Coppa State's reputation, you don't really hear about Coppa State a lot, or you always hear, oh, it's in East Baltimore, it's not the best place to be at. But I took it with a grain of salt. So I went for my visit, and my, my coach from my childhood told me to go into the visit with an open mind and never rule anything out. And I did that. Cabo State felt like home. Financials was right. Division one. You know, pro scouts, recognition everywhere. Just felt like home. And it was only 50 minutes away from my house too, so it'd be easier for my parents to get to my games and stuff. And everything just worked out perfectly. I mean, I wouldn't call them goals, 
So I feel like goals, you're just limiting yourself to one thing. I'd call them objective, objectives. I mean, one of my objectives is to get a good education, achieve 4.0 throughout all my years of college, get drafted, make it to the show, win a ring, become a Hall of Famer. That's really my, my objectives. I want to be the greatest player of all time. And I'm going to put the work in to do that. So that's what my goal, that's what my objective is. I think just being independent, being on my own, not being really sheltered, it's gonna force myself to really grow and learn how to adapt to things on my own. I think, and I do think my parents set me up well for that, but for the most part, it's really just me being on my own and being independent, time management, know what my priorities are, and really balancing everything out. See my dad, he played when back when he was back in the day. He got drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates organization, and he basically instilled that into me. And I just fell in love with it ever since I was a kid. Really, as a baby, I had the baseball in my hand in the crib, and from there, I just grew up literally living baseball. So that's just really been my whole life. Somewhat God and baseball and family, really much. Um. I just think the way everyone really supported me and the way everyone has constantly prayed about me and prayed for me throughout everything, it really helped out a lot. I say one thing or one reason why I'm very family oriented is because basically my whole family always has God in the center of everything. That's really what essentially is what makes up a family of all of us. We keep God in the center of everything and we always pray for each other and we support each other with whatever we do.